In this video, we're going to walk through a few different ways to add notes in Power Query, which can be especially useful for people who don't really like to take notes. Now, the first and easiest one is a feature that they added a few years ago. Now, if you come over to any step that you might want to add a note on, if you right click it and go down to Properties and open that up here, you'll have an option for the description, which is kind of hidden. Honestly, I would prefer it if I could actually right click and have an option specifically for notes, but let's go ahead and add some notes into here and I'll type this in. Click OK. Now, a big thing that's really important is the fact that it is now added a symbol here, and then the tooltip also shows the notes as well. So now you can add notes very easily to any of these. You can also even observe these if you actually come up to the home ribbon and select the advanced editor. You can actually see where the notes were automatically added in here as well. Now, technically, I could type in and add my own notes to any of these lines if I wanted to. As an example, if I was to put the double thing in here and put in more notes. And select done, you'll see that it actually adds a symbol here, which can again be accessed via the properties window. So you can either choose to add them here, which is my preferred method, or you can add them manually as well through the advanced editor. Either of those are options. Now, additionally, continuing this conversation, closing out of here, as an example with any of the queries, you can add notes there as well by again coming to the properties menu. And then you can put a description of exactly what this query might be doing for further notes. Now, sadly, if I put some notes into here, select it OK, you don't get a symbol next to that. So uh, you do get the tooltip that pops up, but there is no icon that shows next to that. So one thing you can do potentially is either A, just have a practice for all of that. Additionally, depending on if these are staging queries, such as the example down here for Contoso Source, if you were to uh, click the properties window or potentially even actually, I think what I was trying to say is to rename it and do that, then you could put a little I there to potentially indicate that this is in fact some notes that are going to go into here that you have typed in. So. That's one way, at least for staging queries, that you can maybe indicate that there is a tooltip note that's been added into there. Uh, last but not least, as far as one last place you can also add notes is the folders themselves. So any of these folders also has a properties and description menu. So at the folder level, the query level, or the step level, there are many different ways to add that can be very helpful for you to leave a little breadcrumb trail for you or any other person who takes over this report to be able to then at least see what was going on and review it later on without trying to reverse engineer with not much documentation provided. So hopefully that was uh, helpful and useful for you. Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in to Enterprise DNA TV. If you enjoyed the content covered in this particular tutorial, please throw the video a like, it really helps us and we really appreciate it. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Enterprise DNA TV channel. Uh, we have a huge amount of content coming out all the time from myself and a range of content creators uh, all dedicated to improving the way that you use Power BI and the Power Platform. Lastly, check out Enterprise DNA's website. Plenty of resources and further learning that you can access very easily. All the best. Take care.